What's up, everybody? Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I basically can't open this eye very much today. So I didn't really do any trading today. And it looks like I missed one of the best days for a stock market dump that we've seen in, I, t I would say this year, but I would actually say, I would go back further and I would say in, a, in over one year. Uh, <laughs> I looked, I just looked, NVIDIA was down 7%. I mean, I've literally been anti-NVIDIA for a while now, so I'm not shocked in the slightest. I said support on NVIDIA was something like, it was something like 102. And then below that, it was like all the way down to like 72 or 82. It's, it's quite low. Uh, don't get it twisted, guys. That stock went from $250 uh, to fourteen and fifteen hundred dollars, uh, they did the whole they did the whole ten for one split to kind of do a little bit of mind trick on you and get you comfortable with this new price uh, and get, you know make you forget. So so if if it's if it drops one dollar, it drops ten dollars. So when it when it drops when it drops six dollars, it really drops sixty dollars. Okay, these are massive moves to be dropping when you talk about market cap. Okay, when it drops $60 a share, well, $6 a share, and you have X amount of billions of tens of billions of shares, guys, do the math. This is not a, this is not a good day for big tech. Uh, MSTR, same thing. Bitcoin had gained over $10,000 in a couple of days after the Trump assassination attempt, which that's what it was, 100%. There's a lot of video footage showing if he didn't turn his head like that, it's through the back of his uh, back of his skull. Um, absolutely insane. I'm, I'm actually shocked there's not anarchy in the streets in the USA. Uh, I didn't do any videos because I didn't want to try and monetize that situation. Um, but I mean, I can't, I can't just not do any content and wait because I don't want to talk about something. Uh, you know, you, you are, people were making t-shirts and all that crap immediately. This is like right after it happened. I, and the iconic image for sure. But like, you know, monetizing on something like that, that's ethically and morally, that's not where I want to be as a human being. Um, you know, I, I'm, you know, thought like, thoughts and prayers are with his actual family um like it's still got to be a very scary time in their lives right now you got to be questioning everything do i drink that do i drink that bottle of water you know looking over it's just they got to be living in a nightmare right now especially after that like they're just so blatant and and then you know you know fbi and, and all that shit secret service definitely in on it uh protocols broken at every corner and Fucking it, it's insane. Uh, his stock was heavily manipulated following that, which I wasn't surprised. I it, when it when it was like seventy bucks, I warned my Discord, please don't chase this. It hit like thirty six bucks or something by the end of the day. So I am glad I spoke up about that in my Discord. We have we had a lot of talk uh, discussion on it. Incident. There's a there's a politics section where we talk about that kind of stuff too. Um, but just today, the only really, like, I'm just big, big, massive sell-off. You've still got people pressuring Biden to step down. Uh, what I could see happening here, guys, is that they try to, they try to, uh, ruin the financial system at this point. They've tried all other avenues, right? Stock market is at all-time highs. When is a good time to sell? You sell the top. I've been desperately trying to convey that message to some of the people in my Discord because we have a lot of people that are just permanently bullish. And I understand that the market is catered to people with money, to wealth. People with wealth can invest. People that live paycheck to paycheck, they're not investing, okay? They're literally trying to get to their next meal. So I get it, that that's where the disconnect might be between the reality of what's going on in our daily lives and uh, the stock market and why it's an all-time high. But when do you sell? You sell the top. When billionaires, when every billionaire from every corporation is selling the top, Jeff Bezos has sold a record amount of shares. Meta's Mark Zuckerberg have sold a record amount of shares. You want to you want to keep entering and you want to pump, or do you want to maybe just step aside, like I've done the past week? I just I more or less stepped aside. I've played a few reversals 
in the Discord. And if, if you don't know what that is, sign up for the Discord. Uh, and and that's pretty much it. Today was uh, actually the. I, I just my timing is horrendous for random shit happening in my life with this eye, and I couldn't even see. My right eye is not a good eye, so I like basically couldn't see out of this eye, and this eye's fucking closed up on me out of nowhere. So today you you could have five, six, seven, even ten x your entire account, straight up. You know, one grand could have been five grand, ten grand, uh, no problem. Missed a great day today, but I think maybe just it's just getting started. If they crash the system and Trump gets elected, they can just blame Trump. You know, and they, they really are trying to tarnish his legacy, tarnish his reputation. Uh, look at the Bushes, right? You got to think like, I, I'm. hear me out here. Look at the Bushes. You had a, a President Bush. A few, you know, a couple decades later, his son is president. Who's running right now? RFK Jr., his dad was a president. They don't want to see a Donald Trump Jr. president or an Ivanka Trump president. And actually, Ivanka would have been my vote all, all this whole time. For two years, I've been saying, get Ivanka in there. You're going to win Democrats. You're going to win females. The color will be irrelevant, I think, at that point. Because it won't be a white man. Uh she's eloquent she's educated she's ran businesses she doesn't have any stains on her politically or personally talk about possibly the first woman female president ever they could be her so they need to i think they already know after what happened it's over he if he doesn't win you will have i think you will have unrest in the usa uh, Canada has one of the weakest prime ministers of our entire existence. Even he condemned what happened, said that this there's no place for that in a democracy. Um, if if Trump doesn't win, when it it does feel like all support is in his favor, regardless of your personal thoughts uh, towards him. Um, you, you would have to you would have to think that there's something critically wrong with that system or 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 at least to say if someone other than Biden or the Democrats so maybe RFK you know an independent if if the Democrats win in November guys fuck I don't know I it's going to be a scary 4 years ahead uh Cause it hasn't been a good four years guys uh, you know i was looking at tick tick tock is always great for a quick info a whopper value meal not that i eat burger king but only two years ago in 20 the, the coupon was dated 2022 it was two two meals for 8.99 was the coupon now it's the same coupon as 14.99 in only two years so your fast food which is garbage junk food you you really only eat it on the go if you have to what is it going to be in two more years? 2022, 20, 25? Minimum wage going to go to 40? And every business is going to automate it? And there's going to be 25% unemployment across North America? Like, where do we end? Where do we stop here? Like, it's gotten crazy. A, a rate cut at a bank for 0.25%, which that's what that's what Bank of Canada was, 0.25, from 5 to 475. Who gives a shit? That doesn't help anybody. Even going at four, five, four, three and a half. It was it was under two before or two. All right, and then and then it's like it's like a one point raise is like a hundred percent raise on goods and services. It doesn't even make any. The rich are bleeding us dry here, people. Shit needs to like. The only way you can stand up and do anything about it. Like when I go to the store, I if someone is working a till, I don't use self-checkout. I use the till. I had a manager trying to force me to use self-checkout the other day with a woman working right at the till. And I said, this is how you save jobs, lady. Do you not understand? I'm, I'm keeping her in her role here by not using that thing, which is just, a, you know, a cheap tracking device anyways. Um, stuff like that. Be political. Don't, you know, they, everybody, I had this discussion the other day. They want, you know, they always want to recruit. 
They're always worried about escalation and going to war. How about we recruit politicians of a younger generation, a younger age? And I'm not talking about woke people. I'm talking about people with open minds who feel a civic duty, not not woke ideology ideologists who want to push agendas. I'm literally talking about people that can have an open discussion, an open debate, listen to the actual people, not themselves. That's not the position of government. The government isn't in a position to... we, we we ignore the people and make our own rules and regulations. No, you literally listen to your constituents, your people, and then you implement those changes, okay? We need to not recruit warriors and all. We need to recruit peaceful people who are open to discussions and debates, who will enact the, 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 the um, wishes of their citizens, okay? Maybe we need to step up that recruitment and shit like that. Normally, all I talk about is, is stocks on this channel. I get it. That's how I started Redbox, pretty much. But that's not, like, my focus right now, I, it just feels a lot more political. I've been leaning political for a while now. I'm not saying I'm changing my channel or anything. I'm just saying, like, that's... What, what do you... The only really stock news I could tell you today that you may or may not be aware of is, is whoever handles Biden's account, and I posted this about an hour after I found out whoever handles his account promised to uh, delegalize or, or like change the, the way marijuana is viewed in, in all of America. They don't even have the power to do that at, a, at, a, at his level. It still has to go through the Senate and everything. And I know, sadly, the Republicans are actually against it. It's kind of odd. It's, it's way better than alcohol. But still, it's still a drug. It's still going to, you know, make you make decisions you wouldn't normally make and things like that. But I think, like, how can you legal, how can you legalize alcohol and then every sporting event is sponsored by... You think athletes sit around and get drunk? They don't fucking touch that shit. It's, it's poison. And yet, it's every sporting event. That's the main... It's fucking a joke. Every, every Disney movie you watch, everyone... Every time someone is having a crisis in a sh in a movie or show, they, it's like they go to alcohol. They're all just drinking whiskey. Fuck off. That is not how most people spend their day sitting around becoming day drink day drinkers and being alcoholics and bullshit. You know, at least if you legalize the marijuana, you could get some people out of the system and stop making them a financial burden and get them producing in society and get them having jobs and put it, paying into the, into the system. Being a prisoner is just a 100% drain on the system. At least being out of the system in an active role of a, of a job or something might actually help contribute to social security, contribute to school funding, contribute to police enforcement. You, know, you need law enforcement. I'm not anti-law enforcement, but fucking criminalizing a plant is a bit ridiculous. Canada decriminalized it. We don't have drug dealers all over the place anymore. For hard drugs, sure, but you don't see anyone dealing marijuana. You go buy the marijuana, it's cheap as shit. It's five bucks a gram. Canadian. That's not like two dollars American, our dollars so bad. It's clean, you know what's in it. You can tell, you can ask, get different amounts of THC. I'm not into drugs, right? But you can get weed uh, uh, gummies, which helps some people with arthritis and shit, uh, and, and just joint pain. Again, even that's cheap. Some of that's only two, three bucks. Right? It's super affordable, so you don't need crime and all that shit on the streets. Gun violence in America is huge. You literally just had an assassination attempt on the president with someone with a gun. That reduces gun violence, people, in your own neighborhoods and in your own cities. And it adds tax revenue because of sales tax, business tax, property tax, gives people jobs. Not many jobs. Like You don't need many jobs to run one of these things, but it gives people jobs. There's no negatives to it. And they, you know, they tweeted that, whoever handles his account again, because it's not him. Um, you know, if they can push for it and the Republicans can maybe get on board with it, sure, it will happen. So stocks like Can Canopy Growth Corp went up today. They had a big, big pop, but they actually had a yesterday. Inside, info, inf inside information holders already knew. They were already loading that fucking boat, guys. Will it continue to rise? I don't know. It could. It could cup and handle and go up to maybe like 20 bucks. Realistically. 
But I have to warn you and caution you that almost every one of these tickers, canopy growth is a slight exception, and I'll explain it, which I've explained before. Every one of these growers is Canadian. If you guys legalize it there, we don't have a year-round growing season. We have hydroponics, a very expensive process. Any, any you know, uh, marijuana grown indoors is susceptible to mold. Then you got to destroy the whole crop. It's happened a lot at Aurora, Aurora Cannabis and Tilray. It's happened in Tilray quite a bit. Uh, Tilray might be done. But uh, anyways, uh, they're all Canadian. Where are you going to get it? You're going to grow it at home with your own company. There will be new companies that will step up and become the leaders in the industry. And these ones will shrink and become probably, if they don't become insolvent, they will be more local they'll probably just service canadians and maybe people abroad uh, who we have trade relations with uh you will probably also import from mexico for cheaper labor you can't be make you can't be growing it in cali with a minimum wage of 20 to grow the weed in a, an hour and then not import it from mexico who doesn't have that right i, I would assume so i would be very cautious in chasing marijuana stocks where the business originates in Canada. Canopy Growth does have a foothold in the USA, but it is not an American company. And I don't know the, honestly, I haven't researched it enough. I don't know the extent of the foothold. I just know it's really one of the only ones. There's a few different weed companies, and that's really the only one that has like a foothold in, in the States at some level. You're also going to have beverage companies that are going to go berserk on this. I've spoke about this before. You're going to have Coca-Cola. You're going to have Pepsi. You're going to have whoever making hemp beverages that will be like an alcohol alternative. No alcohol, but you will get body. Your body will get drunk from marijuana. Like if you eat a weed brownie, you're going to have Kraft and all these, you know, Hostess. You're going to have candies and chocolate. So. Those kind of companies could stand a, a benefit, a big boost, because that's going to be a billion, a, a, a few billion dollar industry at the very least, for sure. Uh, so that's something to keep an eye on. Ones that have fallen recently, maybe time to start loading a dollar cost averaging, loading a little bit at a time. Don't try to fucking go all in on these things, because that's how you get burnt. There's gaps up all the time and there's gaps down and we don't know what's going to happen between now and November. That's the big issue here with the stock market right now. Uh, very, very day to day, very volatile. Volatility is, is very high in my books. Um, you know, if you see more political things on my channel going forward, it is what it is. You know, I, I, I do think there's a very distinct correlation between politics and uh, the stock market. You, I mean, just look at Nancy Pelosi. She makes 200K a year. She went from a few million, she went from like a million dollars net worth to a hundred million. And she literally, people track her trades. They track other politicians' trades. They're all inside trading sons of bitches, pretty much, at the end of the day. They're all fucking crooked because they can make policies you got Tesla super packing Trump, you know. I, I'm really love hate with Elon because it's like, man, you say, you know, you're you're backing Trump, you're you're trying to denounce this stuff, and then on the other side of the coin, you're trying to donate him all this money so that when he is in office, you can pressure him to maybe lax lack some laws here, not have to pay tax in this or that state, like fucking Amazon. They come to they come to Alberta. And they're like, we're, they're, test, they're saying they're coming to Canada. They're going to put a new place in Western Canada, a new warehouse, the distri distribution center. And, uh, and, you know, it sounds all great on paper. But their caveat is, is we're not paying any taxes. What fucking good are you? You're using us. You're supplying minimal jobs because half of almost all your shit's uh, automated. You're providing little to no jobs. You're taking up land. You're not paying tax. It's fucking bullshit. And I get heated with these big corporate greedy pieces of crap that just fucking abuse and use us, you know? Uh, and it's like, Tessa, like, what are you doing? You know, you're, you're, you're claiming to be all environmentalists and shit, and you fail to recognize how, how damaging all your mining is to, to the planet 
and to the to the local neighborhoods and communities where you have your fucking mines and downstream of your the water supply of all of these mines and shit for all your cobalt and your your children that are getting in Africa that are getting the cobalt by hand and shit like and dying like there's just look into it it's fucking disturbing how how righteous they're trying to portray themselves meanwhile that is some dastardly stuff going on meanwhile you look at the Canadian oil industry one of the most regulated industries in the entire world and, and a, a few a little inkling over on on a on a flare burn or a teeny spill some like we're talking small time we're not talking bp oil spill fucking flushing into the ocean for a year or fukushima reactor fucking for for 12 fucking years like nuking the fucking water and then now they're just dumping the shit right in the ocean as of a few months ago we're talking about teeny local spills that don't even go anywhere major fines huge conservation companies they, they they put trees all over the place they have like wild buffalo reserves all sorts of shit they give back to every community they got gyms for for better well, health and wellness in the fort mcmurray that any sort of disaster up there the fires they're there they're the first people there to help and to help their their employee that's so good they have insane pension plans or or they pay incredibly well they have very the oil industry in canada is fucking amazing i like honest to god i back i back crude oil in canada that the companies are incredible uh they're just ran well that and they respect the people that help put them in such a beautiful financial position you got Meg Energy went from a dollar when oil hit negative. It's 30 bucks a share now. 30x. You know, you can talk about your NVIDIAs and all that, but who's getting 30x from from their oil company? You know, it's crazy. So, uh, you know, I just, I got a little off topic there. I went about five minutes longer than I wanted to. Maybe just give you guys some things to think about. But when you are looking at these stocks, you really got to approach it, you know, this ain't no meme country. This ain't this channel. This isn't AMC pump it to the moon, dump it. GameStop pump it to the moon, dump it. This is that's not what we're about. And speaking of AMC, though, I have mentioned this before. Marijuana legalization is going to be the biggest thing to happen to AMC since fucking AMC, you know, stock uh, support. It's going to be huge for their concession sales and what they can sell at the concessions and for movie sales because those things go hand in hand getting high and watching movies and munching out it's, it's, it's that's like the trifecta but uh you know this channel think outside the box right you know put two and two together join the discord again just try to expand your mind and your horizons and why why a trade may be good or may not be good and what, what could be the long term here on a trade, even though we're doing a lot of options trading, which is typically day to day, you know, we're paying attention. We've been paying attention for two years now, my channel and my people and my discord. We've been paying attention to a lot of macro and micro economic factors day to day that add up over time as well. Uh, and there's, there's a lot going on to it. If you know, if you're the casual trader, I, I still think my channel and, and the discord is viewed. And if you're intermediate and expert, definitely, definitely a place for you to be, express your ideas and thoughts, questions, get feedback, um, you know, as like an alternative to say a stock twits or Rebo chat where you, you're really going to get a lot of paid infiltrators, a lot of bots. There's no bots in my discord at all. Okay. It's all real people, real traders. And we're all sticking our necks out for one another too. We're, no one's trying to lead anybody astray. I haven't, I haven't seen it. When I first started two years ago, saw it immediately handled that. I haven't seen anything like that since. So guys, hope to see some more people in here. Hope you're feeling better than I am today. I, I, you know, I look like shit. I feel like shit. I got a headache. I'm trying to drink some water. <laughs> Fucking, uh, trying to just avoid looking at screens and shit today. But uh, yeah. Hope you're having a better day than I am, guys. Freak.